Anyone knows about Robert Kiyosaki fake teachers? It might, it makes me think a lot. Uh, I don't know the, uh, Kiyosaki has a lot of strong opinions. He's getting a lot vo a lot more vocal. It's been awesome watching his, uh, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with everything he says, but it's been, it's been fun watching him kind of step into his own where he was only talking about certain things and, and a lot more safe. And there'd be a couple moments where maybe like on stage he would say something that would that would be a little more of his, you know, controversial self. But now, whether he's just gotten older or he's just got more comfortable or whatever it is, he's just straight up telling you what he thinks, doesn't care what people think. It's, it's, it's fun to see. Well, I haven't seen his fake teachers one. I mean, I think I think um, I think most teachers I mean people I think teachers get a big razz. Uh, too much. I think most teachers want most teachers don't go into teaching just because they want benefits and You know longer summers and stuff. I think most teachers deeply care about students. I really do um, I think part of the problem is they're just being They're being held up by the system and And the really good ones are the ones who then say okay, I'm not gonna let that be an excuse and I'm gonna Put in the extra hours that I'm not getting paid for to go and and help because I think it's important, right? So I would I would blame the um, edu education system more than I would blame the teachers inside it. Oh. Same thing for League of Legends. There's a lot you can teach inside it for people who think video games is a waste of time. What did I miss? Um, Robert talks about teachers who are all talk but have no real experience in what they teach. He supports real teachers. I started YouTube channels. Yeah, I mean, you can only teach what you know. So I remember being in, in university and in the last year of my class, of my studies, we did, I did an entrepreneurship class and I was already running my business at the time. And I realized that the person teaching that class, since University of Toronto, it's a you know well-respected university. The person teaching it, um, you know, didn't really have his own business or really have any experience with it. But he, I mean, he knew more than most of the class, right? At the same time, he's not the world's expert on entrepreneurship, but he knew more than the people in the class. So it's something, you know, like people who are teaching about the American Civil War, that they weren't in the American Civil War. Delicate balance, he says. That's why we need coaches to help us fill our blind spot. Yeah, I mean, ultimately too, it's about as you get older, when you talk about adult education, it's, you get to pick. What do you want to learn? Right? You get to pick what you want to learn. Most of the stuff, I mean, honestly, how much of the stuff did you learn in school is actually applicable to you? It's more the discipline of learning that that's the biggest value, not the not the subject matter that you're learning. 